women, this law will affect you greatly. Women, this law will affect you greatly. What's up, everybody? My name is Kier, and you are watching the important things that really matter. Today, we're going to be talking about women. This law will affect you greatly. What law am I talking about? We're talking about the physical law and the spiritual law of reaping and sowing. What does reaping and sowing mean? That means that whatsoever a man or woman soweth, that shall they also reap. That means that whatever good things you do to other people, good things will come back to you. It also means that whatever evil things that you do to other people, evil things will come back to you. And we're going to talk about a woman right now, how this law of reaping and sowing ended up happening in this particular woman's life. Went to an event one time, and this event was a very, very nice event. It was a spoken word poetry event. And so I went to this particular event and I want to hear some uh, spoken word poetry because I'm personally, I'm also a spoken word poet. I perform encouraging, it's positive, encouraging, inspirational spoken word poetry. Set the music and the music behind my poetry is a fusion of jazz and neo soul with an R&B influence. And so I went to this event. I wasn't performing this particular day, but I went to this event and I just wanted to check out, hang out in the scene a little bit and hear some good spoken word poetry. And so anyway, I came on the inside of this particular event and I sat at the table and there was this brother, by, there was this brother who seemed to be a really, really cool guy. And so I started, I said, hello, how you doing? My name is uh, Kier, hope things are going well with you. And so we started talking, he, he introduced himself and we were talking, we get to know each other and I was asking him, you know, how often does he come out and stuff like this and, and just those real small talk. And so once again, remember what I'm saying, we're talking about the law of reaping and sowing, the law of reaping and sowing, whatsoever you do to one person, whether it's good or evil, will end up coming back to you. And so anyway, let me tell you what happened. So anyway, while we were talking, I was talking to his brother, somehow or another, we got on the subject and he was like, yeah, yeah, he was telling me how his wife had left him. So I'm sitting up here like, your wife left you, man? He's like, yeah, my wife left me. I said, well, what reason? She said she didn't have no, she didn't have no particular reason except for the fact that she wanted to run the street and she wanted to have fun and she didn't want to be married anymore. I said, come on, man. I said, come on, tell me the truth. Tell me the truth. Did you do something? Did you do anything? No, I didn't do anything. I said, I said, listen, were, were you were you running the street? No. Were you were you hanging out at the strip club? No. Were you screwing around on your wife? No. Were you were you uh were you gambling or getting high or, or using drugs? No. I just asked him as many questions. Gambling. Were you doing anything that would make your wife leave? He's like, no, I didn't do anything. I, he the guy sat up here and told me. All he did was go to work, bring his money home, take care of his family. He loved his family. He loved his wife. He loved his kid. And he came home one day. And, and as he's sitting down, relaxing, chilling out and whatnot, his wife came over to him and just told him, I don't want to be married no more. He's like, what do you mean you don't want to be married anymore? We got a kid. What are you talking about? You know, she was like, I don't want to be married no more. I, she said she wanted to go out there and have fun and run the street with her girlfriends and stuff. And the guys reminded her that she's got a child. She didn't care. She wanted to have fun in the street. So, once again, we're talking about the law of reaping and sowing. This is not the only time that I've heard of women just coming home and telling their good husbands that they didn't want to be married anymore and that they want to run the street and have fun with their girlfriends along those particular lines. This ain't the only story where I've heard about this. And so anyway, I said, so what happened, man? After she told him that she didn't want to be married anymore and she wanted to have fun and run the street with her girlfriends, she left. So I'm like, dang, man, I'm really sorry to hear this, man. I'm very, very sorry to hear what had happened to you. And so he said, yeah, he said, he said, but guess what ended up happening? So he tells me his wife, while she's out there running the street, having fun, she's out there screwing around with numerous people. Well, she get with this one particular guy who I guess in some shape, form or fashion is exciting to her. And this guy starts beating her up. I'm like, what? The guy 
starts beating his wife up. Well, now this is his ex-wife. So this guy is smacking her upside her head. He's punching her. He's doing, I mean, really abusing this woman, not no fake abuse. You know, you have sometimes I have a woman who sit up and say, uh, well, my boyfriend or my husband, my, my boyfriend or my husband don't want me to hang out on girls' night out and I'm being abused. <laughs> okay, that's not abuse. Your, your boyfriend or your husband don't want you to be out on the street and end up, end up screwing around on the person. The man care about you, okay? But that's not abuse. In this particular case, it is abuse. It is abuse because of the fact that this man literally is putting his hands on a woman, literally punching this woman, literally smacking this woman around. And so what ended up happening, remember what I'm talking about in terms of the law of reaping and sowing? If you do evil to other people, evil things will come back to you. If you do good to people, good things will come back to you. So what ended up happening in this particular situation was this woman ended up calling the ex-husband back. So she's on the phone talking with the ex-husband. So she's like, uh, I got a question to ask you. He's like, well, okay, what question is that? What do you, what, what question is that? This, his wife, ex-wife says, can I come home? He said, what, what do you mean you want to come home? You want it to be in the street. You want to have fun with your, with your girlfriends. You want to screw around with whoever you want to. So why is it that you want to come home now? Well, the woman said she's tired of getting her ass beat. So the ex-husband's like, what do you mean you're getting your ass beat? So the, ex, so the ex-wife says, well, she was out there having fun with her girlfriends and screwing around with different people. She got with this guy, and this guy is beating her ass regularly, and she wants to come home. And, and 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 rekindle the relationship and and come back to him she basically want to come back to him for protection okay so the ex-husband did what I would have did <laughs> the ex-husband told the ex-wife no you can't come home no you want to be in the street you want to rip apart our family Take my child away from me so that you can go have fun with your dumb girlfriends. You want it to be, you want it to be in the street. You getting your ass beat. You keep on getting your ass beat. And so what we have right now is an example of the law of reaping and sowing. The woman would not have had any of these problems if she had stayed home with her husband. The woman would not have had any of these problems if she had stayed home with the husband. So, please like, please share, please subscribe. Don't make the same mistake. Don't make the same mistake, ladies. Peace.